Hello and welcome to Wrestling Jeopardy, the ultimate pro wrestling trivia challenge where you're the contestant. I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And are you ready to load the spaceship with the rocket fuel and blast off into this episode? Ah. Well, go ahead and grab that pen and paper and let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on, starting with the WWE Cookbook, followed by video games, Pro Wrestling Illustrated Awards, NXT Factions, and last but certainly not least, name that podcast host. Dope, dope, dope. And of course, that sound means it's time to play the game. So let's kick things off with the 200 point jobber round. Can you answer all five of these questions correctly or will you completely embarrass yourself? If they can't beat Joe Booker, he's got the, he's got the belt fell out. All right, let's see what you're cooking with and start off with the WWE cookbook for 200. There's no way you can't see these Technicolor treats named after this wrestler. And that would be, what are John Cena's Fruity Pebbles treats? Fruity Pebbles, the job is here. Moving on to video games for two. What is the name of the popular WWF video game shown here? One of my personal favorite games of all time. What is WWF? No mercy. And that brings us to PWI Awards for 200. This Nature Boy has won the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Wrestler of the Year Award a record six times. Recognizing the best professional wrestler of the year, Ric Flair has won this award a record six times and remains the only wrestler with more than three wins. What? And we're on to NXT Factions for 200. What was the name of the NXT faction that consisted of Adam Cole, Bebe, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roderick Strong? All right, let's see if I can do it. There's the U, and let me do a West Coast, turn it into an E. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be completely honest, I love it. Who were the Undisputed Era? And let's finish up the 200 point round with name that podcast host. What former wrestler's podcast is called Six Feet Under? And that would be, who is Mark Calloway, a.k.a. The Undertaker? Unimportant. All right, we're jumping back into the kitchen for a clue worth 400 from the WWE Cookbook. Layer upon layer of chips, chili, and cheese are a tower of power too sweet to be sour in this recipe. Now, these nachos are also topped off with cut-up Slim Jims, making this the cream of the crop of drunken food, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, yeah! You will eat this appetizer, and you will like it. Oh, yeah, what are the Nacho Man Randy Savage's nachos? And that brings us to video games for 400. The SmackDown series of video games for the Sony PlayStation ended in 2003 with this title, which is often regarded as one of the greatest professional wrestling video games of all time. And that was the fifth and final installment of the SmackDown series called SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain. 
Moving on to PWI Awards for four, this brain won the now defunct Pro Wrestling Illustrated Manager of the Year Award four times. And that would be who was Bobby the Brain Heenan. Moving on to NXT Factions for four. What was the name of the NXT faction that included B-Fab, Top Dollar, Isaiah Swerve Scott, and Ashante The Adonis? And the answer we're looking for here, who was Hit Row? And let's finish up the 400-point round with Name That Podcast host. 83 Weeks is the name of the podcast hosted by this former wrestling executive. And 83 Weeks is in reference to the amount of time that WCW Nitro defeated Monday Night Raw 83 weeks in a row. The correct answer here... Who is Eric Bischoff? All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go, plus the Daily Double and Final Jeopardy. If you're having a good time, I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and also the ringy dingy notification icon bell so you get notified whenever we come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, presented, of course, by Wrestle Trivia. And let's go to the 600 point round. Things are gonna get a little bit harder and don't even think about Googling the answers because that's just cheating. So let's kick things off hot and heavy with the WWE cookbook for six. This meat filled pie is exactly what the animal in your life needs to start their day. Growing up, this would have been great if I just yelled to my mom or dad and just said, give me what I want for breakfast. And they say, Kev, what do you want? <gasps> I'd say, Bakishta. And I quit. And we're on to video games for 600. <laughs> There's the daily double. It's coming a little bit earlier than usual, but... That's cool. Once again, the category is video games. Think about how much you know about wrestling video games and place your wager right about now. All right, time is up. Let's go to the clue. Released in the fall of 1998, this WCW NWO game became the best-selling wrestling game for the Nintendo 64 console. And the correct answer here, that would be, what is WCW NWO Revenge? And we're moving on to PWI Awards for six. Medusa Michelli was the first female wrestler to win this Pro Wrestling Illustrated Award. No, it wasn't Women's Wrestler of the Year. In 1998, Medusa won the Rookie of the Year Award. And we're on to NXT Factions for six. What was the name of the NXT faction featuring Joe Gacy, Ava Rain, James Drake, a.k.a. Jagger Reed, and Zach Gibson, a.k.a. Rip Fowler? Yes, with their creepy masks. The correct answer here, who was the schism? And we're finishing up the 600 point round. What wrestler is part of the podcast known as Click This? It's two sweets. That would be who is Kevin Nash? And here comes the 800 point round. You need to know your facts, your figures, and your trivia if you want to ace the 800 point round. Starting off with the WWE cookbook. This iconic shrimp cocktail is a showstopper as either a starter or a main event dish. Uh -oh. 
Now, I bet you didn't know this, but this actually pairs really, really well with some sweet chimichurri music sauce. Anyone? Bueller? Hey, yeah. The correct answer here. What is Prawn Michaels? Don't at me, bro. I didn't write that. Okay, actually, I did write it. So, I apologize. Well, that, that... Moving on to video games for eight. In the arcade game WWF Superstars, players compete as a tag team, and after three matches are won, you get to challenge this team in the final round. And that would be who is the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase and Andre the Giant, also known as the Mega Bucks. I'll put you to sleep with my million dollar dream. And let's move on to PWI Awards for eight. As of 2023, John Cena and this wrestler have the most appearances at number one in the Pro Wrestling Illustrated 500 with three. He's a visionary. He's an architect. He's Seth freaking Rollins. And Seth appeared at number one in the PWI 500 in 2015, 2019, and again in 2023. What do you say we go to NXT Factions for 800? What was the name of the NXT faction that included Mei Ying, Xia Li, and Boa? And that would be who was Tian Sa. And let's close out the 800 point round with name that podcast host. What wrestler hosts the Art of Wrestling podcast? And that would be none other than Boom Boom himself, who is Colt. Cabana. I'm Genetico Numero Uno! This, your promos suck. Really? I think good. <laughs> and we've reached the most difficult round in Wrestling Jeopardy, the thousand point round. These questions are designed to take you on a journey through wrestling history. So if you fancy yourself a wrestling trivia aficionado, well, you better get your thinking cap on because this round is designed to put your knowledge to the test. So let's start off the thousand point round with a clue from the WWE cookbook. This recipe is the quintessential cocktail for the quintessential living legend. You see what you gotta do, you take uh, two ounces of gin, one ounce of sweet vermouth, and then you gotta make sure you get three Italian olives and you get none other than what is a Bruno San Martini. And that brings us to the final clue from video games. The centerpiece of this horror-themed downloadable content pack or DLC pack for you gamers out there for WWE 2K20 was the playable character of The Fiend. Plagued by a ton of technical issues, the much maligned WWE 2K20 is full of bugs and glitches, but the Halloween-themed Bump in the Night DLC pack did give gamers the chance to play with the hottest act in wrestling at the time, the fiend Bray Wyatt. And let's move on to the final clue from Pro Wrestling Illustrated Awards. This superstar has won the Pro Wrestling Illustrated Match of the Year Award a record 11 times, including a four-year win streak from 1993 to 1996, and then a seven-year win streak from 2004 to 2010. And a special thanks to Scott Decker, who uh, gave this little gem to everyone during the live stream I did a little while ago. If you're watching the live stream, then maybe you would remember that the correct answer here is none other than the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, not Prawn Michaels. 
And we're on to the final clue from NXT Factions. What was the name of the NXT Faction that included Pat McAfee, Pete Dunne, Danny Burch, and Oni Lorcan? And these guys were unofficially or maybe officially called the Kings of NXT. And let's close out the board with the final clue from Name That Podcast host. What former WWF on-air personality hosts the podcast called Primetime? And that would be the man, the myth, the legend, who is Sean Mooney. All right, don't quit now. It's time for Final Jeopardy. Let's find out what this episode's category is. Huh, would you look at that? I quit matches. There have been a ton of these all through the years, so just kind of put that in your noodle, think about that, and place your wager right now. All right, time is up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue from I Quit Matches. This wrestler is the only person to compete in I Quit Matches for three different companies, the NWA, ECW, and WCW. Good luck. Having first wrestled in an I Quit match back in 1975, Terry Funk became synonymous with this special stipulation and arguably competed in the greatest I Quit match ever versus Ric Flair at Clash of the Champions 9, New York Knockout in 1989. And that does it for this episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, make sure you watch all of our other videos that you can check out here and leave a comment with your score. Did you learn anything new? Did you break a personal record? And as always, my name is Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And I'll see you next time.